Hey, how you doing? So as you can tell, I am definitely not at home, not in the studio. I'm actually in transit en route to my niece's wedding. She's getting married this weekend in Florida. And we had a couple of things happen where the uh, all of our flights out of Dallas were canceled. And uh, so now I'm literally uh, trying to drive and get there. I've got a major storm system behind me coming up out of Dallas. Got a lot of moving parts here. But hey, I wanted to make a video for you guys and talk about um, the fact that I, I was thinking this morning about what could I do for a video for you guys. And I thought about the fact that you know, for those of you guys who have been holding Shiba Inu for a while and or you're just in it and or you're thinking about getting in and getting into it, I thought about how the fact that we're all survivors. We're all survivors in the context of Shiba Inu and, you know, we are going to celebrate success along the way and continue to celebrate it. But, you know, if you've been holding Shiba Inu for a while, I, like me, I've been holding it since May. And uh, definitely consider myself a survivor in, in that whole process, all the ups and all the downs and everything that's transpired, everything that's gone along and all the good and all the bad, right? We've had uh, those uh, summer months back in 2021 where it felt like nothing was ever going to happen and, and we were, you know, just nothing was going to go positive for us. And then we fast forward into October where it just exploded and, you know, we went up 1,005% in October. And then we had the pullback in November, and then we've had, you know, the rest of the no the, uh, the rest of November, December, January, um, all that's you know where we've consolidated, and just all of the good news and bad news. There's always going to be fear, uncertainty, and doubt around Shiba Inu, and, and frankly, around a lot of these uh, tokens and things of that nature. But it makes us survivors. It makes us better. It makes us aware of where we've been and where we're going to go. And sitting in my chair, covering Shib every single day. Um, and seeing the good and the bad associated with news and coverage and what which which way the wind is blowing on any one given day, I consider it an honor to, honor to bring you guys this information and just be here with you and to be um, again a survivor, a survivor in that I have held and um, you have held most likely along the way. And if you've sold along the way to to, to capture some profits and things of that nature, that's good. Um, I haven't done that. I haven't sold any of my Shiba Inu that I bought. Um, I've added along the way, by the way, and uh, because I believe in long term, I, I really am looking for that, you know, that big payday at the end of the rainbow, right? And so Shiba Inu is one of those that I'm not taking profits along the way. Now there are other tokens and coins that I own that I do take profits with uh, accordingly, uh, you know, as the, as they roll along and as they move up in value, but. Right here, right now. Again, I just wanted to kind of have a have a I guess a fireside chat dialogue with you guys and tell you that from a SHIB perspective, I consider us all to be survivors, and uh, I'm looking forward to continuing to be a survivor with you uh, in this uh, token and in this movement. As always, have a good one. I'll uh, be bringing you some more videos from the road as I uh, as I roll along. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Bye.